Welcome to Healthy Habits. We are so glad you found us. Here at Healthy Habits, we are dedicated to helping you live your healthiest and happiest life. Our channel is all about sharing practical tips and advice for improving your nutrition, staying active, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Whether you're looking to lose weight, boost your energy levels, or just feel better overall, we've got you covered. Our team of experts will provide you with the latest research and recommendations for living a healthier life. So join us on this journey to better health and wellness. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all of our latest videos. We can't wait to share our healthy habits with you. The best way to prevent cataracts. Cataracts are a common eye condition in which the natural lens of the eye becomes cloudy and affects vision. Initially, cataracts may cause mild blurring or glare in vision, especially at night. However, as the condition progresses, vision can become more significantly impacted, with symptoms including decreased color perception, double vision, halos around lights, and frequent changes in glasses prescription. Cataracts can also cause a gradual reduction in visual acuity and make it more difficult to read or drive, especially at night. The lens is located behind the iris and pupil and helps to focus light onto the retina, which sends visual signals to the brain. The lens has no blood supply, no lymphatic system and repairs very fast. It has its own unique immune system which makes it less responsive to what's going on. In the rest of the body for example if you have some type of transplant of your lens it's very unlikely that you're going to reject it as compared to getting other donated organs. The lens of the eye is primarily composed of transparent, highly organized proteins called crystallines. There are two main types of crystallines in the lens, alpha crystallines and beta crystallines. Alpha crystallines make up the majority of the lens protein and have a structural role, helping to maintain the lens transparency and shape. Beta crystallines are a smaller fraction of the total lens protein, but play an important role in maintaining lens clarity by preventing the aggregation of lens proteins. In addition to crystallines, the lens also contains a small amount of other proteins, such as heat shock proteins, which help to prevent protein aggregation and maintain lens transparency. These proteins are essential for the normal functioning of the lens and ensure that light can pass through the lens and reach the retina, allowing us to see clearly. Changes in the normal structure and function of these lens proteins can lead to the formation of cataracts. What causes cataracts? The primary reason people get cataracts is something called glycation. It is a chemical reaction that occurs when sugars in the blood bind to proteins in the lens of the eye, creating advanced glycation end products, ages. Over time, the accumulation of ages can cause structural changes in the lens, leading to protein denaturation and aggregation. This can result in cloudiness and decreased transparency in the lens, which is a hallmark of cataracts. Diabetics are more at risk for cataracts than the rest of the population because they constantly have a higher amount of sugar in their bloodstream. This tells you what kind of diet you should be on, a low-sugar low-carb diet. Other factors that increase the risk of cataracts are Aging, chronic use of steroids, eye injury, disease, or long-term exposure to UV radiation. Steroids put your body in a state where you're going to be using a lot more sugar and they can easily make you diabetic. They also cause your immune system to be paralyzed. Smoking, alcohol, junk foods and chemicals can create oxidation stress over time. In the lens, oxidative stress can cause damage to the proteins and lipids in the lens, leading to the formation of cataracts. In the retina, oxidative stress can cause damage to the photoreceptor cells in the retinal pigment epithelium leading to vision loss and the progression of age-related macular degeneration. Diabetic patients are particularly prone to oxidative stress in the eye, as high blood sugar levels increase the production of reactive oxygen species ROS and can cause oxidative stress-induced damage to the lens and retina. This is why diabetic patients are at an increased risk of developing cataracts and diabetic retinopathy. What can we do to prevent this? One way is by practicing intermittent fasting. It has been shown to have an impact on glycation and the development of cataracts. Fasting has been shown to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, which can help to reduce the formation of advanced glycation end products that contribute to the development of cataracts. Fasting can also improve glucose control and reduce insulin resistance, which can help to reduce the formation of advanced glycation end products. In addition, Fasting has been shown to activate a process called autophagy, in which cells clean up damaged proteins and organelles, potentially reducing the accumulation of glycation-induced. Another thing you need to do is start building up this glutathione. 
It is a small molecule composed of three amino acids, cysteine, glutamic acid, and glycine. It helps to protect the lens and retina from oxidative stress, reducing the risk of developing cataracts and age-related macular degeneration. It also plays a role in maintaining the structural integrity of the lens by preventing protein aggregation, a process that can contribute to the development of cataracts. How do we increase glutathione? Start eating foods high in sulfur. Examples of this foods include cabbage, Brussels sprouts, radish, broccoli and all cruciferous vegetables. The best way to consume them is raw since the enzymes and antioxidants in these vegetables are greatly affected by heat. Leafy greens also contain lutein and zeaxanthin which are very powerful phytonutrients that not only help prevent cataracts but also macular degeneration. Lutein and zeaxanthin are also present in egg yolks. Other things that will help you build up glutathione are Selenium, Vitamin C, Vitamin E and Zinc which helps replenish glutathione. You should start eating these things on a regular basis and start including your supplements. Other vitamins that are also very important are B1 which is thiamine and vitamin. B2 which is riboflavin. They are not only great antioxidants but if you are deficient in these two vitamins you are at risk of getting cataracts. Thank you for watching this video on healthy habits. We hope you found the information helpful and are motivated to make positive changes in your own health and wellness journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. We post new content every week, so there's always something new and exciting to learn. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers and always do our best to respond to your comments. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.